Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, I am Romic, the leader of the Snap Mania, and currently the, well, at least one of the best Havoc enjoyers on the entire planet, as this deck went plus 16 cubes in very, very high infinite, going up against the best players in the world, Lokis of the world, everything in the world, we managed to solo almost everybody, but the entire point of the deck is just... Hey, if we run all combos and engines and bounce stuff, we just really can't get countered by Loki unless he gets Quinjet, and then he really, really, really gets lucky with the things he gets, which sometimes does happen, that's why I lost four cubes off screen, sadly. But yeah, you know what happened? It was really fun, though. It was still such a fun deck to play, and I think you really want to see how the deck performs, so let's go to deck edit real quick. We run stuff like the hood as we bounce that stuff. Boss hits your entire deck, and it's always a profit unless it's it. exactly Hope Summers, everything else. Like Mysterio becomes a mini Doctor Doom. Kitty Pride, Nico Minoru, all of these cards are amazing. Angela is just like Chef's Kiss, amazing card in this deck. Havoc is the reason why this deck is so good. Every single game we played Havoc in, he won us the game because he's a 211. He's just a 211, a 27. Sometimes a two like a 215. It's incredible what he is. A 212 if he's not even hit by boss. It's ridiculous how good Havoc is. You beast your stuff. You Mysterio all over the board. You Bishop. He becomes like one of the biggest idiots in Marvel Snap history. Hit Monkey just becomes the biggest idiot in Marvel Snap history. And finally, Elsa Bloodstone is just chef's kiss in this deck. Her with Mysterio is one of the best interactions in the game, and Hope Summers just lets your energy cheat, and it's the entire reason why Havoc's lines are actually even good, because she gives you the energy that Havoc would eat, and then you can still play on curve and do your unfair shenanigans. But boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a quick like, comment, and subscribe, follow my Twitch channel below, but now I think we're gonna get snapping, so let's get snapping, boys. Okay, boys, we're gonna be playing my new favorite deck, which is this. We're playing Havoc Bounce, and this is a uh, very, very, very cool deck list made by Gnome Plays. Make sure to follow him. I'm gonna put the links in the descriptions, in the comments. You know the things we usually do here on the Snap Mania to support other creators. But then, you're thinking about, Romic, look at this deck. Havoc? Are you mad? How is Havoc a good card? Well, Havoc is definitely a card that is quite mediocre and requires quite the right build. Made us climb right back up. It's so maddening to see that everyone is playing this stupid deck that we're up against right now, which is Hella. Because everyone is trying to play Sarah and other stuff, we have a bit of a problem. If anyone is trying to play Sarah, and well, as you can see, Hella can be played by a monkey. Hella could be played by a uh, ape with a controller, like that's how brain dead that deck is. And if they ever manage to play it correctly, if they just like the Hella falls on turn 6, we always lose. So let's just get out of there real quick. And that's maddening to just see, oh great, the meta is now open, Thanos, Professor X has left the game, and we're back where we started. Sarah is almost like, it's either Sarah or Loki as the best deck, and what is else? Hella. Hella, Hella, and more Hella, because if Sarah makes appearance in the meta, it's Hella's time, and Hella is so annoying. I wish they'd just delete Hella. Like, just delete Hella. There you go. You fixed it. Now Sarah doesn't have to always be the, okay, if if Sarah's good, then we all play random turbo, because you can't counter random. Like, oh. it's like the duality of Marvel Snap developers. You either balance Thanos out, or we make Sarah the best deck, or Loki, and then you have to play Hela so the deck can't actually work. <laughs> how does this always happen? I don't get it. Like, how are we always in the tippity-tap meta? Okay, at least it's just regular-ass, boring-ass discard. I'm fine with that. Maybe we can deal with this. But like, hell, I can't. I can't do anything. We're gonna hope Summer's on the left, and hope if we get Bishop on right, that's okay. We can also bounce back the Hit Monkey if it goes... The only thing we really don't want there is Beast. Which means we're gonna get Beast. Approximately. All the time. Uh, no... Bounce support, no boss, no Havoc, no Kitty Pride, no Alpha, no Mysterio in hand. Our hand pretty much sucks. Okay, this is where we don't want to be. When we're top decking actual good pieces of our deck. Morbius, okay. Hope Summers. Bishop! Hey, buddy. What is that? Colleen Wing discarding Lady Sif. Oof. That's not where this card wants to be. There's boss. Uh, I have an idea. Dracula being drawn. Sadly, I can't really go left into Starlight Citadel and pop off right now. This is still looking good, though. Xandar is really good for our left location. Like, we don't have the support we need in the... 
You replace the hood with Mysterio and I think we always win. But you know what? I think we can still manage something. Yeah, like this isn't too bad of a spot to be in. They always win Sakaar. Now we just need to win the rest. We know the final card in the hand is Apocalypse, so we just need to work around it. Okay. Meek! And what's the final... Gambit, don't you dare! Don't you dare hit him! It's hit, it hit something like Angela and we're gonna lose. Like, A-OK -okay with me. I'm thinking about snapping... Uh, the Hitmonkey is at 10. This puts him at 12. Yeah, this is 12. So how big can Hitmonkey actually be? Oh my god, this last turn. Oof, that would have been insane. So, Apocalypse will be at 20 if they can discard him yet again. So do we just forget about mid? I think we do. At worst, it's Proxima. I'll snap it, actually. You know what? I feel supremely confident. This is what we call, like, supreme confidence. If only I could just put one stupid card instead of another Marvel Snap, God, please. Yeah, screw Xandar. Xandar's dead. Then that is this guy. Sure. Wait, I missed one card now, then. Oh, shit. I mean, I still win. Probably. Not even Proxima wins. I miss- I messed up. I shouldn't have played it mid. The Mysterio. Or I didn't, I don't know, I can't really remember now. But we still have too much power. Unless that thing on the middle is the in like unless in his hand is the infinite, we always win. That's Moon Knight. Giving us the dub against this card. There we go. We managed to do it. Jesus, this deck is so hard to play. But you know what? When it's hard to play, it feels satisfying to win with, as they would say. Look, that was the smart approach. Not playing into Xandar, making them think, oh yeah, I'm gonna snap because I'm not gonna play around Dractyl. No, I'm gonna kill you. Like, I'm gonna Get the Zillion Hitmonkey procs in. Even with, if without Elsa and Havoc, we did it. Like, that's how good it is. Now, the moment you see of a Sandman deck, you're gonna be crying. But you know what? Who cares? We're get, we, as you've seen on my Twitch channel, even when Sandman decks come in, all you need to do is play around the leader, put the beast in the lane where you want them to bounce all their stuff and manage to win the game like that. And, and well, make sure to follow my Twitch channel, etc. I have no idea where I'm going with this. But I have only one thing that I'm going for. Up against Eggy. Eggy, you see an egg? I hope it's not another Hella Gamer, because I'm so tired of them. Wait. Undo. I have an idea. I can make two Angelas. Yeah, that's like insane. I like the, I like the sound of two broken cards in one. Me just looking. Whoa! Don't tempt me with a good time. Lord, give me something good. Off the top. Kitty! Hope Summers. The Blood Mage Elsa. It actually does not matter what I bounce it. I'll bounce like... I don't know. I'll maybe play Mysterio next turn. Elsa. Vulture. Up against a move deck. Interesting. If this become, you know what? Just because it might become Ultron means we're gonna play around it. But yeah, but that sucks. You know what? I'm gonna lose to Ultron if it happens. I don't care. I lose to Ultron. I accept my defeat. If it's Ultron, I've coped with it. Lost. Buffs my entire hand up and leader. It is leader. Told you guys. I told you leaders there. Now it's gonna become... That is insane. 
This is what we call couldn't be better scenario for our opponent. Wow. Yeah, that is maddening. That is... Oh, God. Y you hate to see it. Uh, so now the entire game will revolve around me losing. I actually lose to Arnim Zola hitting a Vulture. Basically, that thing was 18 attack and we got one free attack idiot. Five attack at most. Another game lost to RNG. Another game lost to RNG. That's how... The, the maddening, dude. Maddening. <laughs> Every single game. <laughs> Whoop! Ah, guess you lost. They rolled a 20. And you rolled a 1. Couldn't, be, couldn't make it Ultron for them. No, you had to give them the tits. You have to get, get them the best shit ever. Like, oh. They don't even have to Heimdall. They just win. What are you pointing at? Let me guess, Hella. Nightcrawler. It's like a Nightcrawler deck. I guess. I have no idea. The Vault. Nice hand. It'll be interesting to see how we manage to lose this. Okay. Kitty Pride. I think we can always win the vault. That is one thing we can count on. Nowhere. Hope Summers, please. God. Like, all I want for Summer is, is Hope Summers. We're not that on reveal reliant. Aside from Hitmonkey, we're pretty much chilling. Like, Bo Beast is also good, but. Okay. Ah, it's like, it's silky smooth. Okay, gotcha. Silk. E smooth. Hmm. So, Havoc is a 2. Uh, he's a 211. If I play Mysterio next turn with Havoc, we can cause quite a lot of Havoc, if you know what I'm saying. Angela and Takiri. The, the real problem is no Hope Summers. If we get something really good off the top, we'll think about everything right now. Oh. Damn. That's the type of things I want to see. The problem is I can't really buff up the Angela. But I really like another turn of playing into the vault. Okay. I'm missing two power on Angela. But I get one more turn to play. We didn't play any free costs, so nothing gets into Asteroid M. Okay. Hope Summers. That does not work the way he wants it to. I mean, I guess it does. The entire question now is, does he run the Alive? Angela. Replace the location with... Jesus Christ. Couldn't make it something better for us. No, you have to give him the... Literally, like, like, I don't know, man. My luck today is... I, I just don't know. Am I... I swear to God I'm cursed, like, at this point. We gotta gaslight him into making him think he can't lose. I don't know how we do it, but... Meh. It wins in some worlds. He ain't got a clue which world, but it does. Oh! He can actually just shang Bishop and kill us. I mean, there's a way we can win. It just requires Silk kind of, you know, screwing him over. If he snaps, we're gonna get out. Muar Island, really? Like, really, it had to be, like, the best location for clogging your stuff. And then Silk also goes there. Like, come on, man. Okay, let's see. Does he have the Shang-Chi? He probably does. There's the Silk. 
And now here it comes. This is the problem. Where will she go? I have no clue. Well, we didn't lose yet. I think we win. Miraculously. Holy shit, we managed to win. Oh man, that game took a, took its life out of me. Holy shit, that was so good. Like, we played like gods there. What is that emote? Is that Black Bolt? Black Bolt doing up. Like, what is that? I never saw that one. How do you even get it? I, that, I know the Cosmo one is like, cool dog, but how do you get that Black Bolt emote? Was it in a bundle that I didn't see that cost a gazillion dollars? I have no idea, but oh my god, this deck is so good. But I legitimately run out of commentary because I have to think. I have to think about everything. Washington DC is better than you might think it is for this deck. Because we run one specific card, Mysterio. That's it. On the other hand, that is one of the worst locations for us. God, Necrocha bad. I really like drawing two cards. What can I say? I'm a whore. I like drawing the cards. And I want to make destroy kind of cry. Man, has the Pax card back. That looks really nice. So he got the Jela. Does he have the Angela? Hmm. The rest of the cards in my deck are very de very good. If we draw a boss, I'm very fine with just playing the rest of the game in Vibranium Mines. Up against just Loki. It's just normal ass boring ass Loki. Okay. Well we don't have our bounce packages, but we sure do have a lot of other stuff. Man, this is my life for Mysterio, but... It's either two power on Angela or more power on Kitty. So we'll play the Demon... ...into boss, sure. We don't have to fill. Werewolf by Night was made randomly with Agent Coulson. Which makes it not really that good. Like, because we really don't care. We're fine with that. Mm, we can Havoc on the final turn just as a 2-7. I can make him a 2-11 also. We get to play... Damn, yeah, like, ugh. to play Havoc now. I, I've decided. I have to play Havoc now. If I do this, he still doesn't die to Shang. Most of our stuff is fine. The worst top deck is... You know what? We're just gonna play Havoc right now. Fine. I have, a, I have an idea. An inkling of what I'm supposed to do. Miss Elsa, go into Necrotia. Havoc. Is he gonna Loki? With what energy? Oh man, just don't get the Vibranium. That would be insane. Well, his hand is... some things. There we go. Should be enough. Against most things, unless he got the ball, unless he got the tits. Like, come on, if he got the tits, then I guess he does win. We're up against the best deck in the game. There's not much I can really do. He has to. If Vibranium doesn't win, Vibranium mines by itself. He needs more. He needs also, like, if he doesn't move Werewolf, it's still fine. Shadow King is really bad if he does play it. I don't think he does, but maybe he does. But then he needs Luke Cage, because he hits his own things then. It's it's a real gamble game, because... Yeah, yeah, we win. Oh my god. Havoc, huh? Havoc won us that game. He's so big! He's legitimately such a huge guy in this that it's insane how good Havoc is in this. Oh my god. He won us every single game we played him in, basically. 
So we're back with the deck, and yeah, the deck is absolutely incredible. It's really good, especially if you're up against Loki. The only thing is you gotta watch out for when Loki has like Quinjet and all the other stuff, he can just sometimes steal everything and then still manage to win the game because he's the best deck in the game right now, probably. I don't know, the meta's still getting developed, but I think it's probably the best deck in the game. And so, if you want to counter Loki, if you want to be based and you have a Havoc and your Havoc pilled and you like really like hit monkeys, make sure to play this deck. Make sure to subscribe to the Snap Mini, follow my Twitch. Sean, do all that shit. I was Ramek. Love you all, boys. Take care of yourselves.